Hello, I'm Ollie. This is Criminally, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today, horror, I'm going to do a review of an early Richard Lehman novel, All Hallows Eve. So I did a video about Richard Lehman a couple of months ago and I gave him a bit of a hard time in that video, perhaps a harder time than he deserves. And I think that that hard time or my disgruntlement with him at the time came off the back of reading two books by him, Funland uh, and Ireland, both of which were quite long and really bad. So I didn't like either of them. I didn't think either of them were particularly suspenseful and I found elements of both of them quite offensive. Um, now, All Hallows Eve is, is a different kettle of fish to an extent. So A, it's a lot shorter. It's probably about half the length of either of those books. My edition, uh, this headline UK edition, is 250 pages or just under. Uh, and, you know, the print's pretty big and the margins are pretty big as well. So actually, I think it's probably a less than 200-page book, really. Um, and, you know, it's fun. So this was published in 1985, and I think it's about the fifth book he published, or the fifth horror novel he published as Richard Lehman. Um, he did publish um, some romances early in his career um, under the name Carla Lehman um, with titles like um, In a Stranger's Arms, I think is one of the, Oh, so yeah, so A Stranger's Arms and Your Secret Admirer. Um, I have no idea what those books are like, but I would love to know if anyone's read them. Um, so this is, you know, it's a lot shorter than those other books and it's a lot tighter. Um, so there's a lot less meandering um, and, you know, random, um, you know, it's kind of, characters going off on, on random side tracks. Um, it does still do that a bit. So there's a, there's a, one of the characters in this is a cop and there's this long sequence or a long series of, of chapters about him um, trying to hunt someone down for, for basically no, no reason. It's almost like Layman's put it in there just to fill some pages. It doesn't really relate to the central plot at all. Um, so that bit did drag a bit. But apart from that, it's pretty good. And and the book it most reminded me of is Carrie by Stephen King. Um, in that, it's um, largely set around a high school, and in particular, a, a kid at a high school called Eric, um, who's being badly bullied, um, and who wants to get his revenge on um, his bullies and all the other kids in the high school, basically, who, who are making his life a misery. Where it loses points against Carrie is, whereas Carrie is, you know, broadly speaking sympathetic throughout the book um because you know you you really feel for what she's going through and whilst you you know you could definitely argue that the the vengeance she wreaks at the end um more than outweighs the you know the, the harm that's been done to her um you know she still she still i think has the reader's sympathy um eric on the other hand at times he's quite a sympathetic character um, but other times he's really obnoxious. Um, he's really awful to his mum um, and treats her appallingly. Uh, and he's also, in typical layman fashion, quite a grubby character who's just completely obsessed um, with women's bodies, basically, and, and with um, you know snooping on um, girls getting changed and things like that. Um, which you know, as I said in my longer video about layman. Um, is you know, a failing in a lot of Lehman's books. In this one, it's not quite as bad as some of the other ones in that it is very much, it does feel like a, you know, broadly realistic portrayal of a teenage boy, uh, of, of a troubled teenage boy, should we say. So it's not, you know, it's not quite as bad as in some of his books, um, but it definitely makes um, Eric a much less sympathetic character than he might have been. And the other big difference um, between this and Carrie is whereas in Carrie, um, Carrie's ability to to get revenge comes from within her you know it's her own powers um, in this book it's something external um, to Eric that gives him that ability um, but still it's you know it's an entertaining read so so effectively the setup is it's set just before Halloween um, and kids at the high school and indeed teachers at the high school um, start getting invites to a um, a Halloween party that's in a house in the town that's been empty for years because a terrible um, series of murders was carried out there like 12 years previously or something like that. Might be more than 12 years, I can't remember. Sometime previously. Um, so everyone's kind of gossiping and talking about, oh, who's arranging this party? You know, what's going to happen and stuff like that. Um, and as the plot develops, you find out who's arranging the, the party. And, and you can probably guess from what I've said so far. Um, 
but Layman does a really good job of kind of portraying the, the characters in the high school. So you've got, you know, you've got Eric, you've got this gang of bullies, you've got a couple of other high school kids who are a bit more sympathetic, and then you've got the teachers as well. And then you've also got Eric's mum, who happens to be dating the local sheriff. And the book opens with another murder um, in, the, in the house. Um, so the, the sheriff is investigating this, di you know, disappearance that's relating to, you know, related to that murder. Um, so it does all hang together reasonably well. And apart from, as I say, this this section where the sheriff kind of goes off on one and is trying to track someone down and it kind of doesn't really fit. Um, it, the book moves at a decent pace um, and you do feel, you know, I certainly as a reader felt quite gripped and wanted to know what was going to happen. And... Um, what works what works really well is that build up so it's quite a slow build up you've got the the murder at the start and then there's not really any violence apart from kind of you know high school bullying type violence there's no true violence until the end and the the climax at the end is fantastic it's massively over the top um and gruesome and just a a, a delight to read um because it was completely nuts um so it, it showcases Layman's ability to just go crazy, basically. Um, so yeah, the, the end was um the end was very entertaining. Um so yeah, I don't know if the fact that this is you know an earlier book by Layman um is in its favour, you know, for me at least, in terms of he hadn't maybe fallen into or fallen quite so deeply um into some of the tropes that he ended up with. I would say as well, so one of the things that people joke about with Layman is that you always get the word jiggling um in his book in regards to in, in regard to women's breasts. I think in this two hundred and forty six page book there's only one use of the word jiggling and that's not until page two hundred and thirty nine. So he was he was pretty restrained when he was younger um, compared to the, the dirty old man he turned into. Um, so, yeah, I think you know, I think the shorter length of this one really works for it. It's got a good central concept. As I say, it, it because Eric is is not that sympathetic, um, I think it doesn't work as well as it could do. I think if he'd been more sympathetic, it might have worked better. Um, but it's an entertaining read with a fantastically off the wall finale. Um, so yeah, if you if you haven't read Layman and you want to give Layman a try, or you have read Layman and like me, you'd been turned off him a bit. I, I would say this is a, a decent one to uh, to pick up. Right, as always, I hope you found that interesting. Um, let me know if you read it, read this one. Let me know what you think about Layman generally. Um, and I hope you're all safe and well, and I will speak to you again very soon. Cheerio. I did a video um, on Layman a couple of months ago, um, and I gave him a bit of a hard time in that video. Um, possibly uh, harder than... Um... <laughs>